2011 Toyota Tacoma with the 4 liter V6 engine. We're going to be changing the serpentine belt. This one's a little raggedy, so I'm going to do the best I can to position this camera so that you guys will be able to see how this is done. This is kind of a tight access vehicle. Um, a lot of vehicles you have a little bit more room uh, than what this is offering. I'm going to go ahead and remove this cover. You don't really need to. It's not going to gain us a whole lot, but it'll gain us a little bit. And uh, I mean, all you do is take these 10 millimeter nuts off. And then the cover's off, so that'll kind of... And then I think if I can get this camera down here. Let me get this camera camera positioned to where you might be able to see what's going on. Okay, so I think I've got you in about the best position that I I can get you in. And so the first thing that I've got to do is I've got to release the tension on the tensioner. And then I'm going to reach over here, and I'm going to take the belt off from the power steering pump. Um, see if I can do something else with this light. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in here with my ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket. I'm going to pull up on the tensioner and that's going to relax the belt. And then you just come over here on the power steering pump. Once it's off the power steering pump, you can relax the, the wrench or the, the ratchet, whatever you're using to... And either take a picture of the routing or uh, get a uh, diagram. Like I've got right here. You can get these online. I like to try to look at the belt before I take it off to see how much I can remember. But it never fails. Whenever you've got a belt like this that's wrapped around all kinds of stuff, you are not going to remember. So whenever you're looking at your belt, and it's all chewed up like that, if you turn it around and if you've got cracks in it, whenever you uh, roll it back on itself like that, your belt needs to be changed. It's just a matter of time before the belt disintegrates and leaves you stranded on the side of the road. Now the next step, make sure that the belt you know is the right is the right one there was about four different belts for this application 
So I had to really do my research to make sure I was getting the right one. But you can see the cracks in that belt. Even the back of it's all chewed up. New belt should be nice and and uh, smooth and good. So let me get you put back in here, uh, and I'll show you the next step that I like to do. It's a good idea just to reach down, spin all of your idler pulleys. Make sure that they're, they're quiet. I, I do not hear this one at all. Perfectly quiet. Now the tensioner I can hear it, and I don't like that. Yeah, the bearing's kind of kind of noisy in the tensioner. That tells me it's going to. I'm going to have to address that before too long. So now, either look at that picture. Um, that you took, or the diagram that you downloaded. And then start routing the belt. Trying to keep the tension on it so it doesn't want to come back off. And doing this from the top only kind of limits your ability to, to get to everything. They do make a serpentine installation tool that helps you out.
Okay, what do we do now? there. Okay, I'm going to reach down. I've got the belt, I think, everywhere I need it to be. I'm going to pull up on the tensioner. Slip the belt on the power steering. Pulley. And that's it. Well, Almost. Or you'd call it a done deal. Double check, make sure it's in all the grooves, around all the pulleys. And it looks like it is. Step it started up, make sure it's good. Here, hold on. And here's that diagram. 
it is very nice to have a uh, routing diagram so that you can refer to that as you're putting it on. Now, if you can't find one of these for your exact engine, then uh, just take a picture with your cell phone the best you can. So basically, here's the idler pulley, or the tensioner pulley. I was pulling up on that, and it releases the tension, and I was grabbing this uh, section of the belt, and I put it on the power steering pulley last and then release the tension and then like I say once you're uh, you know, once you're all done you want to just double check look at every single part of the belt and make sure that it's in all the grooves and then uh, start it up go ahead and start it up Nick got to do is put this cover back on and uh, it'll be a done deal uh, belt installation on a four liter Toyota Tacoma 2011 model you guys take care